Today we're going to be uh, using these cast iron, or not cast iron, block iron uh, pipes with the uh, floor flanges. And uh, we're in a little room that's about, uh, it's about seven by nine. Um, it's in a, a real old house. It's over, probably over a hundred years old. But uh, I believe this used to be like a sewing room and uh, they're gonna turn it into a closet. And we're gonna take and uh, put shelves across the top from this window back around. And then some lower shelves with these uh, iron pipe fittings. And then we're also gonna do some uh, like uh, clothes hanger rods in between some of them. The shelves are gonna be uh, one by tens. And uh, we're gonna mount a ledger board on the wall. Um, to mount these two and that's going to be uh, a one by four or basically three and a half inches wide and I've kind of pre-made these to fit from that one by four up to the one by ten shelf and uh, we're putting the ledger boards on there because this is uh, old plaster and lath and even though I have located a couple of what I believe are the studs um, to have these spaced out so it's symmetrical. Uh, if I put that ledger on first, then I can mount these wherever I need to. And uh, also it'll add a ledge for the back of the shelf to mount to. So uh, that's what we're gonna work on. So it's uh, April 20th here in the Ozarks. Yesterday was 74 degrees and sunny. Uh, right now we're just barely above freezing and they're forecasting uh, up to two inches of snow today so uh, that's the weather in the Ozarks for you we're gonna go ahead and start we're gonna rip down some boards here to the uh, three and a half inch width for our ledger boards and then we'll put those in okay so we're getting ready here I'm gonna unplug the saw and uh, we're gonna double check our setting here So we want three and a half inches and uh, hopefully you can see the saw curve blades and how the one angles towards the uh, rip fence and that's what you need to set your three and a half at. top shelf flush with the top of the window so I'm going to measure down three quarters of an inch not perfectly level or plumb so uh, I'll take my measurements down from the ceiling and then uh, we will check that and see how close it is to level but the key with old houses is sometimes you split the difference so that it doesn't stick out so we can't always have everything perfectly level because then when you come in and look at it you would see a difference and for an example here right now we're quarter inch off and four foot so I'm going to split 
split the difference on. these to fit the wall. These walls are uh, not level obviously. And this one's out. We have three eighths of an inch or better right there. So we'll have to scribe the ledger boards to fit the wall. So I'm going to go ahead and install those and then we'll work on the lower one. So there's just no way to get this level and keep it looking right. So we're doing the best we can. I'm splitting the difference and then I'll stand back and have a look at it. The main thing is when you come in the room, you want it to look all the same. Or as close as you can get. And then I'm just using the nailer to help hold this up here because I know there's some studs here. And then I'll come back through with some screws afterwards. See what that looks like in between here. So it's not level by any means, but our spaces will be the same. And so when it's done, it will look clean.